Efren, thank you. In the U.S., 38 states, including Washington, D.C., have adopted Medicaid expansion. 12 states have not. Wyoming, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Kansas, Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. None of those states have adopted that expansion. By not expanding Medicaid, here's what happens. Healthinsurance.org estimates that South Carolina is leaving more than $2 billion on the table. That's money that could be used to get more people to the doctor. More numbers for you to kind of digest. More than a million South Carolinians are covered by Medicaid or the tr children's version of Medicaid. By expanding Medicaid, it would allow more than 345,000 people to gain health insurance coverage. Back in 2021, just last year, the U.S. Census report found that 13% of South Carolinians did not have health insurance. That's more than 660,000 people without insurance to go to the doctor. Now, earlier this week, President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. It includes provisions for climate issues, taxes, and even some health care. But a gap remains in coverage, and that's impacting thousands of Palmetto State residents who are now in the 600,000 who are uninsured. News 19's Becky Buds has that story. For years, Michaela Goldstein qualified for Medicaid and disability in California due to some pre-existing medical issues. I've been hospitalized probably somewhere between 20 and 30 times in the last 15 years. When she moved to South Carolina to pursue a graduate degree, her coverage options changed. I qualified for other insurance, but not insurance that I could afford. And even the insurance that was the lowest cost had like a $9,500 premium. Nine months and thousands of dollars in unpaid medical bills later, Goldstein is still uninsured. Without insurance, her only access to health care are free clinics and emergency rooms. The idea that I may have to go into a hospital and can't, can't afford it and don't have any other options is just terrifying. Goldstein's story is one of many. According to the South Carolina Appleseed Legal Justice Center, thousands of South Carolinians fall under the so-called health insurance coverage gap. It's a whole population of individuals who are too poor to go into the Affordable Care Act, yet are not eligible to go into Medicaid. Director Sue Berkowitz explains those who are not eligible for Medicaid are mostly low-income adults without children or working families with children. We know that when people are healthy, they can succeed. When somebody is healthy enough to then go to work, they're able to get ahead. Berkowitz says South Carolina is one of 12 states that have not expanded Medicaid coverage to cover people who live below the federal poverty line. In a statement to News 19, Governor Henry McMaster's office said, quote, instead of irresponsibly spending hundreds of millions of dollars on Medicaid expansion, South Carolina has taken a better approach, investing directly in our people's education and workforce training so that welfare isn't necessary in the first place. Goldstein hopes in the future the gap will be closed. It's a broken system. It's a, it's a system that doesn't ensure the people who probably need the healthcare system the most. In Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX.